Well, it's a big focus on service delivery. One of the big issues, of course, has to be water. We know about the issues in Johannesburg over the next few days. 54, 58 hours uh, of planned maintenance. So groundwater, of course, is very much coming to the fore as part of the conversation. Many South Africans relying on groundwater for water supply. But here's the issue. The Water Research Commission saying groundwater is actually underutilized here in South Africa. There's a considerable opportunity for expansion. The commission saying these kind of uh, water, uh, these sort of water plants could help meet demand driven by urbanization and population growth. But it claims little is being done to improve groundwater uh, development. Let's try and unpack this a little bit more. I'm joined by the commission's executive manager, Shafiq Adams, making time for me this evening. Shafiq, uh, hello to you. And so when we talk about underwater or underground water, how much is available? I know it's a broad question, but good evening. Help me understand. Yeah, so um, if let, let me simplify it. So, if, for example, you say I've got 10 units. At the moment, we're using about three to four units. So there's a considerable um, um, scope to expand this. But, of course, uh, what, what I've also... Um, alluded in, in my article um, today or yesterday is that not all of this is available and it not all of this occur within an, a, um, in a bucket, if, if you like. So it's a, it's a highly localized resource. So you need to go and find it um, in areas where, where you actually need it. And yeah. How, uh, difficult, how difficult is it to get to underground water? Is this something that's fairly simple? It, it is fairly simple for, 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 for the trained hydrogeologist um, because we are trained to use direct and indirect methods to, 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 to look for it, to uh, develop, to explore and to manage it. Um, and, but the problem is that um, we at the local level, so if you look at the municipality um, level, two out of 254 municipalities employ hydrogeologists that are able to do this. Um, so it's not a matter of how difficult it is, mm. it is who is doing it. So if you're not trained, it's going to be difficult. But for the, um, for the skilled hydrogeologist, uh, it's what we do. Um, That's got to be the yeah. greatest title to ever put on a business card, a hydro geologist. I want to be that when I grow up uh, one day, a hydrogeologist. So what do you advise these municipalities, these cities, these councils to do? If they come to you and, and they ask, oh, we want to get into underground water, where do you begin this process? So the, the, the problem is uh, what, what we are seeing, and, and, and often what we see when, when there's droughts, um, there's um, there's requests for drilling, but um, the exploration of, of for water does not start with the drilling. So if you look at tenders, it says drill for balls. But what we often do, and it takes six months to a year, is it's similar to what they do in the oil industry. They explore, they use geophysical methods, they use field mapping, um, and then they, they start um, identifying targets. And these targets are related to how accessible it is, how um, you can integrate it with existing infrastructure, etc. So it it's much more complicated than what um, even some of these emergency and, and humanitarian um, um, organizations portray it to be. So, and then often what we see is that when they do it that way, these schemes or these balls um, do not last a season. And, and that's a story that's not been told. Um, but uh, if you do it properly, um, and we've got some excellent examples in the country that you, then you develop it sustainably and uh, over the long term. Help, me, because un it's help me understand. I wanted to, to try and get a sense of, activities. before we get into the yeah. details of how you would mm -hmm. actually yeah. do this, if we were in your world using hydrogeologists for every scenario, mm -hmm. how much water do you think could be available? I'll tell you why I ask. Uh, Shadrach, because, mm -hmm. uh, Sh uh, Shadrach, because this morning I did an interview and we heard in Johannesburg we're losing up to 50% of our water just to wastage. It's yeah. an awful amount of water just vanishing. How much water yeah. could uh, this sort of underground system provide us as a country, if you can go that broad? Yeah, so a a as a country, it, it, it can meet... Um, so if you look, look at about, um, uh, as, as, I, as I said, uh, we still have about um, 60 to 70% of available water. So 
if you think about, um, let me put it that way. So groundwater supply makes up 13% of our water supply in this country, but it supplies 56% of the population, either as a sole source or mm. conjunctively. Um, and this is a spread around, I think, 78% of, of, of settlements. So it, it's, it's a significant resource that uh, we, we use conjunctively. So what, what we say conjunctively, you, 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 you use it in conjunction with, with surface water resources. Um, so it's about um, expanding your, uh, your water security options. Uh, forgive me, I got your name wrong earlier, Shafiq. I don't know what was wrong yeah. with me. I, had, had a, I wasn't thinking clearly. <laughs> Shafiq, I beg your pardon. Uh, just as I start saying yeah. goodbye to you, uh, so where do we, you and I, take this conversation next? Because we know about water issues in the country. We know about water issues in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Let's set aside the leaking water issues for the second. Uh, mm -hmm. wh where do we try and bring experts like you, these hydrogeologists, into the world of local councils, municipalities, mayorships, MECs. How involved are you in this? Do they know what you can offer? They, they certainly do, and, uh, because in, in most cases when, when they develop these schemes, and often um, uh, they, they would use a uh, consultants to, to do the, the work. But once the consultants leave, they've developed the scheme, and this is where it needs to be managed. So this is the... The, the O and M failures that we are seeing. So um, someone installed the scheme, and uh, the technician's uh, job or the water supply person's job thinks is thinks it's just for keeping the reservoir full. But uh, because it's 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 from underground, you need to manage how you pump, how you rest your system, so that water flows back into your your aquifer, um, and, and 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 so forth. So uh, so municipalities are, are fully aware. Uh, we do engage with, 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 with them often, uh, and, and, and it baffles why um, they, they, there's not more municipalities employing it. So often I say, uh, imagine if you had the same scenario for electricians. Two out of the 254 municipalities employ electricians. Everyone will just go crazy. Mm. But for it seems like for, 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 for groundwater, which supplies 56% of the population, um, it's just being shrugged off and, and, and it creates this water insecurity at, at, at a very local level. And I'm not talking about you and I staying in, in, in the urban areas that get our water from surface water through the bulk system, but people that actually are forgotten out in, in, in the rural uh, villages. Yeah, and I was, you took the next question out of my mouth, so I'm going to say thank you very much. Indeed, I was going to ask you about rural, but I think you've summed it up so very nicely. Shafiq, thank you very much. It's a great question, because I'm going to follow that up uh, on the South African morning and throughout the day tomorrow. Why aren't hydrogeologists, what, uh, hydrogeologists, what a great title to have on a business card, uh, being used more often? Uh, these are experts that know exactly what they're talking about. Uh, Shafiq Adams is one of those, executive manager at the Water Research uh, commission, there's so much underground water available to us. Why aren't we uh, actually using that properly? All right, there.